Air Corio may be one of the most talked about airlines in the world, and yet simultaneously the most unknown. The airline is the DPRK's flag carrier, operating out of Pyongyang Sunan International Airport, and operates both domestic and international cargo and passenger flights. The airline is perhaps most famous for its continued operation of Soviet-era Tupolev, Antonov and Ilyushin aircraft. In many cases, these Corio-operated planes are the only airworthy vehicles of their type remaining in the world. So, with all that in mind, I thought it was worth a deep dive into Air Corio's history and what the airline looks like today. The first national airline of the DPRK was formed in 1950 under the name Sodion Choson Hong Kong, or SoCal, to connect the new capital, Pyongyang, with Moscow. After the Korean War, the airline was rebranded Choson Gyotong Song Minyong Hong Kong or just Choson Minhang for short. Starting in 1955, and now under the control of the Civil Aviation Administration of Korea, the airline began operation, flying Lysanov Li-2s, Ilyushin Il-12s, and Antonov An-2s, although none of these aircraft remain in operation with Air Corio today. Interestingly, the Antonov An-2 is still in service with the Korean People's Army Air and Anti-Air Force, although these aircraft are used primarily for flight displays and parachute jumps. During the 1960s, two more Ilyushin aircraft joined the Choson Minhang fleet, the Ilyushin Il-14 and the Ilyushin Il-18, the latter of which remains in service to this day, albeit with only one aircraft operational. The first jetliner to be delivered to Choson Minhang, the Tupolev 154, joined the fleet in 1975. This new Soviet airliner allowed the DPRK's flag carrier to open itself up to longer range flights with fewer stops. A flight from the DPRK's capital to Moscow on a TU-154 would depart at 9am local time, stop over in Irkutsk and Novosibirsk, and arrive in Moscow at 4.20pm. Meanwhile, direct flights to Beijing would now take an hour and a half. During the 1970s, Choson Minhang took delivery of a series of Tupolev 134s and Antonov An-24s, and in 1982, the airline took delivery of four modern Ilyushin Il-62s. Choson Minhang's previous flagship aircraft, the TU-154, could only fly 2,500 kilometers when fully loaded. This new jet could fly up to 10,000 kilometers without a stopover. By the end of the 1980s, the most regularly flown international routes by Choson Minhang were Pyongyang to Beijing on the TU-154, Pyongyang to Khabarovsk on the TU-134, Pyongyang to Moscow on the TU-154 via Irkutsk and Novosibirsk, and Pyongyang to Moscow, direct on the IL-62. Air Korea also operated an extension of its TU-154 flight from Pyongyang to Moscow onto Sofia in the Bulgarian SSR, and of its IL-62 flight to East Berlin in the German Democratic Republic. The fall of the USSR in 1991 didn't instantly impact the airline's international routes. In 1992, Choson Minhang rebranded as Air Korea, and by 1998, the airline was now offering flights to Macau, Moscow, Beijing, Vladivostok, Bangkok via Macau, Berlin via Moscow, and Sofia via Moscow. By the mid-2000s, however, the fall of Soviet communism a decade earlier began to impact the airline, and meant Air Korea would no longer fly directly to Europe. By this point, the airline was only operating international routes to Beijing, Vladivostok, Shenyang, and Bangkok. In 2009, Air Korea received the first of two Tupolev 204s it had ordered. These new, more modern aircraft were the first in the fleet with the wing-mounted twin-jet engine design which has become more or less the standard worldwide. This allowed for an expansion to Dalian, Kuwait and Kuala Lumpur by 2011. Three years later, the airline also began operating regular flights to Harbin. By 2016, multiple UN sanctions deliberately targeting the airline meant the Kuwait, Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok routes were cancelled. Although, since 2016, the airline has begun operating between the DPRK and Shanghai, as well as reopening the route to Macau in 2019. Today, Air Korea operates a wide range of aircraft. Due to UN sanctions, it's unable to purchase any new planes, and so it's focused its efforts on maintaining its older Soviet fleet. At the time of recording, Air Korea operates four Antonov An-24s, two Antonov An-148s, one Ilyushin Il-18, two Ilyushin Il-62s as commercial aircraft, and two Il-62s as official government transport aircraft, two Tupolev Tu-134s, 
two Chupalev TU154s, two Chupalev TU204s, and three Ilyushin IL-76s for use as cargo aircraft, although the airline also likely keeps some aircraft on standby in storage. Despite its reputation, especially in the Western world, Air Corio has historically had a surprising reach into Europe and around Asia. For anyone planning a trip to Pyongyang, the Air Corio flight from Beijing is one of the most common ways to enter the country, along with the international train from China, which you can find out more about in my Korean State Railway video. A lot of the information in this video came from Air Corio and Chosun Minhang timetable leaflets, a lot of which came from a website called timetableimages.com. I'll leave a link in the description to their collection of Air Corio and Chosun Minhang timetables from 1988 to 2016.